So my name is David Granger. I'm a second year DPhil in Medical Science student at the Weatherall Institute of Molecular Medicine. So my field aims to understand the signals that give rise to blood stem cells during embryonic development. Uh, these blood stem cells make all the blood throughout the adult life and so understanding how they're made is important for a number of reasons. More specifically for me, the main reason is that we'd like to be able to make blood stem cells in a dish. We'd like to be able to model human development and also having uh, a supply of blood stem cells uh, without getting them from a human is, is useful because it's actually blood stem cells that, we, that uh, clinicians use uh, during bone marrow transplants for treatment of uh, blood diseases such as, as leukaemia. So my research focuses on starting with a different kind of stem cell, the pluripotent stem cell. Uh, this is defined by its ability to give rise to all the cells in the adult body. We want to use the research in model organisms such as mouse and chicken and use those signals to push these pluripotent stem cells towards the blood stem cell. I got interested in human biology at school and then decided to do an undergraduate degree in medical science at the University of Birmingham. And it was that time where I started to develop my own research interests. And in particular, what I found interesting and the big question I wanted to, to understand was what makes two different cells different. So what makes a heart cell different from a, a kidney cell, for example, right? Because in, in a human body, they both have the same genetic code and yet they perform vastly different functions. And um, stem cells is a really great way to study this because they're defined firstly by their ability to copy themselves um, perfectly and secondly by their ability to transition into different cell types. So if you study how you go from a stem cell to different cell types you can understand um, the different mechanisms that specify different cells. So I think stem cells and molecular biology are really at the core of um, how a lot of people see the future of medicine. So a lot of people want to move away from treating symptoms and towards understanding each individual patient's disease specifically. I think there's now uh, the opinion amongst scientists and clinicians that not all patients that are diagnosed with the same disease should be treated the same. And so by studying the molecular biology, you can really understand what it is that's causing the disease and then use targeted therapies to treat the cause of the disease rather than the symptoms the patient presents with. And I think uh, stem cell biology kind of builds on top of this because there are some, some diseases where it might not be appropriate to use a drug or a, a targeted therapy. You might need um, a more cellular approach to, to treat those patients. I think because stem cells are associated with long-term maintenance of tissues, it could help cure patients rather than just help them live with their disease.